Thank you. But I never said men, black men weren't working for. I'm saying With, black uh, men aren't. Go back and look at the comment section, man. You don't get it. I get it. You don't get it. And this is how far they've fallen, guys. She really doesn't get it. She really doesn't. And I don't I blame you for not what getting you're it. Saying, but what I'm saying to you is how can we try and put forth this effort to somebody who's not even receptive? You first of all, that's a disingenuous ass question. You assume that 100% of black men are not there. I'll give it to you this way. You know how you do it? Because I'm a salesperson. Your job as a salesperson starts when somebody says no. If everybody bought that you asked, there would be no need for you. That means you have to deal with rejection. That means you're saying that how do we do how do we do this to a group of men who don't want it? You go ask them what they want. You knock on the door and say, how can I make you? How can I get you to be my boyfriend? How can I get how, how what do you need for me to become your wife? You got to actually go to the consumer. I know it's I know it's crazy. You got to go to the person who you want to purchase your product and give them what they want. I know it's wild. You don't go to the market and say, "Hey, tell me how to sell you." "Hey, I got this I got this widget to sell. Tell me how you go out and do all the research and tell me how to make millions of dollars off you. Lazy. All right, all right, all right, all right. What's up, what's up? It's your boy once again. With another episode of Foolery. So let's jump right into this, man. This one of the Godfathers, an older one. Um, I just happened to run across this and it kind of just took me back a little bit how our women think our sisters, what I'm, you know, really talking about. And this young lady, like a lot of other ladies think that we just prefer a color for a certain reason or a certain type for a certain reason. And I always made a thing. I always for years before Kevin came on the scene before all this stuff. I used to always talk about your appearance. From head to toe, your appearance. And ladies, that's important. How you look, how fit you are, all that stuff plays into the role of where that man is going to go when he walk in that club or building and see you. So if he don't see what he likes, he's going to go somewhere else. Simple as that. You can't get mad and blame the world because they're not coming for you when you ain't tried to be your best. So that's where we at with this young lady. She's blaming everybody in the world except herself. And y'all got to see this, man. This is crazy. We're going to get going with it. We're not going to talk about it. I'm let y'all see it for yourselves. Don't forget to hit that subscribe, like, and share. And definitely keep on hitting that notification, catch the next videos because they're coming every Tuesday and Thursday at 9 p.m. Eastern Time. Now, let's get it. Y'all check this out, man. We're going to talk about it. I'm starting to see as a black woman dating that we are kind of at the bottom and mm -hmm. we're not like the first selection. When I walk in, we're not the, You're first, not the first selection of whom? I would say of, of black men. I will say of, not of all men, but I mostly focus on black men. That's who I prefer. But a lot of black men marry black women at an 86 percent rate. What are you talking about? You got okay. You do have a point there, but mm -hmm. I'll just say yes, they do marry them. But as far as like desires or um, preferences, as they would like to say, a lot of them like our look or like our charisma. But when it comes to our attitudes or just the way that we communicate and work with them. So when you say somebody walk in the room, how can they tell that about you? Well, when I say like walk in the room, I mean like when we walk in the room, men are coming up to us first, if that makes sense. Who are they coming up to first? I'll say most of the time it's like, Mexican, well, Latina girls mm -hmm. or Caucasian women. Uh -huh. And and uh, uh, and I'm gonna ask you a, a, a straightforward question. 
Are these women more physically fit than the women you're talking about? Mm. Watch this. Uh, in no, some cases. No, no, don't, no, don't give me, don't give me the special snowflake answer. I hate when women do this shit. Well, it, it all depends. Sometimes yes, sometimes no. Look, men are visual. You cannot tell me that black men walk into a room where all things being equal, all the women in there are five foot four, dress size four, and they just go to the white women and Latinas. That's not even how we're built. Nope, definitely not. All right. Now, now let's let's sit back and look at this for a minute. Now she went through this whole thing talking about what this and what that, and it came right back to one what one little thing. Were those women physically fit better than the women you are describing? And the answer was yes. A simple yes. That's what the problem is, lady. You got to get in the gym. Y'all keep running. To, now it's Ozempic and getting your bodies done. And that's looking crazy. I don't know what. Don't even look real. You don't look natural. Y'all doing everything except getting in that gym and getting healthy and getting fit. I don't know what the big thing is with that with y'all. And I'm speaking to some because I know somebody, all of us ain't like that. I don't, I don't know why y'all even say that shit now. You know I'm not speaking about all women. I'm speaking about the ones who complain like this. That's who I'm speaking to. They are the ones complaining about everybody else but don't want to do anything to improve themselves. You'll rather get mad when somebody say you need to go and make yourself better. You need to learn how to compete. I ain't competing with nobody. Okay, that's what you get. Every day I go in this gym, my wife goes. She goes, and it shows. I don't see hardly any other black women in there. I see the same three, maybe three women. And they're in fairly good shape. But they're the only three I see. And the rest of them be nothing but Caucasian, Asian, and um, like Mediterranean or something. I don't know. But I don't see none of my sisters in there. And so you got to ask yourself, what are you doing to better yourself to be looked at? Because that's what you want. Let's just be real. So let's see what she say. Are the women you're talking about that are getting passed over physically fit? Five foot four, 120 pounds, dress size four. Yes, no. No. There you go. That's why you're getting passed over. Because 80% of you are overweight. But you put it off on race. And it's, that's a cop out. Definitely. I was saying like, when I gave you 86% of black men marry black women at 86% rate, you still found a way to make your argument. Right. I was talking about communication and like how... It has, to be, an, it has to be an approach before communication. Ladies, you all start thinking about it after the fact. Like I try to explain to this young lady... If the guy walks in the room, or say you walk in the room, he knows nothing about you. He don't know if you're nice, if you're, you're rich, you like to eat pizza. He don't know a dang thing about you until he approaches you and get to know you. So all this about your personality, that could be good, could be really nice. But he would never know that because... He's not attracted to what he's looking at. So why am I going to waste my time going over and talk to her? Y'all see how that works now? Just like you ladies look at a dude like, mm, and y'all don't want to talk to him. It's the same thing. And look at this woman. Not back, I'm not talking trash about her, not like that. But you can tell she's overweight. She looks like she might be short. She's definitely overweight because you see it in her face and in her neck. So, why are you complaining about, the, like you say, the skinny women, because that's what they call them, when you're not out here doing nothing to make it better and you want men to come and talk to you? 
Like you ain't listening to nothing what Kevin's saying. Nothing. True. You said you said that they're not even approaching, right? Mm-hmm. It's crazy. Well, how man. can you communicate if there's not an approach? See? Answer that, lady. You can't. So if if a if a black woman in your circumstance that you're talking about gets approached, then the issue becomes what? Well, I'll say with my experiences, a lot of men my age aren't really looking to settle down or be serious. not true. They're not true to play the field. Not true. So I feel like that's where. But you said these. But you said these men are still approaching white women and Latinas. They are. And getting married. And they go and they settle. And they, they settle. They they do what they not, settle. Not settle like settle down. You know what I'm saying like. Man, man, okay, okay, you, man. What you just said makes no. Okay, man, what you just said makes no. You see how that it make no sense. First, you said the black man don't want to settle down and they want to play the field and all this, but they will meet the Caucasian and Italian and Latinos and whatever women and settle down. So that means they are ready to settle down. Just not settling down with you, particularly and your friends because of your appearance to start out with. And I'm gonna keep going back to that. All this other stuff is nice, but he gotta like what he see first, ladies. We're visual. If we don't see it, we're not going, cause why I'm gonna go do all this work and I'm not even attracted to this woman. The same thing y'all do about a dude. Y'all not gonna go do all this. But see, y'all can do it for money. We won't do it for money. We just won't. Sense. The, I said, after they approach, mm -hmm. and then what? You said, well, most men my age aren't looking to settle down. They're playing the field. And I said, well, what you just said is those men are approaching white women and Latinas. Yes, they are. And then what? And then they get them and they settle down with them, meaning that a black woman could have been settled down with two it's not the youth it's not their age it is, see? see what black women never want to deal with is the fact of the matter is your fitness and your attitude are your biggest problems it is if you would be as fit as your competition and as friendly cooperative and submissive as your competition you would win the majority of your men like any other race of women do and have done throughout history let me chime in on this real quick. This is maybe a two years. This may be a year before, right around the time he um, passed away. So time has, has gotten worse as far as dating. I mean, it's gotten real bad for our, for our sisters. It's, I mean, it's, it's freaking terrible because y'all got the list now and where y'all won't eat and got to send you money, you got to pay for your babysitter, your hair, your hairline. You know, got to do it all, got to pay for everything just so they go out with you. Do you really think dudes are going to spend that much time trying to do that when they can just go right over here and get with this girl that's ready, just go out and have a coffee? Do y'all really think that? You can say all the things you want in the world. Nobody's biting it, though. Like a guy fishing in a pond that has no fish. You ain't catching nothing. You go in every day, you're buying a whole bunch of stuff. You're throwing it in the water. You can put three or four rods out there. Ain't nobody biting. So why do you guys do all this stuff and y'all making it so hard for yourselves that the men now is like, bro, I don't want to be bothered with all that. I don't have time to be paying for her for everything. And then she's going to call you broke if you don't buy one thing for her. But it seems like you're the broke one because you keep begging for shit. You can't call me broke because I don't want to pay your rent when you can't pay your rent. I can pay my rent. Why you can't pay your rent? That's the question. You see what I'm saying? I just go over here to somebody who can pay their rent and chill. Y'all just throwing yourselves away and don't, I, I don't even understand it. Why y'all building up all this stuff? It sounds all cool and, and shit, but 
it's not going nowhere. I mean, really, it's really not. But that's what I was referring to with the cooperation and the communicating. That's where it goes wrong. But it goes wrong from whose she standpoint, the men or the women? I could say both. It, it, no, you can't say both because you just said these men go off and settle down with white women. See, the more y'all do this bullshit, both. It's always both. Why can't you ladies just hold yourselves strictly accountable? Because you're losing to other women. The higher up your men go, especially your generation, more and more guys are saying they're not even starting to deal with women, black women, because of your attitudes. You know this. Well, then you have to fix it. Because if they're not dealing with you, it's not as though they're not dealing with any woman. Learn how to communicate. Let me ask you a question. Are you saying that the men in your generation are choosing to have no woman or are they dealing with women other than black women? They're dealing with women other than black women. Then right there tells you, then right there shows you the problem. They're dealing with women. If you had said they're choosing to not deal with any women, then you could have made the argument. Correct. But now if they're dealing with women other than black women, why not understand why? Like I said, number one, are they as fit as your competition? You said no. 80% are overweight and 80% of that number are obese. You've heard black men talk about the attitude. You've been on this channel listening to women who don't even want to smile. And when I start asking these specific questions, you want to go down to both. I don't, this is what happens to matriarchy where you can't hold women accountable. They never want to get down to the point. The problem is on your side. You know, I was talking about this. Uh, there's a little something I ask. I stopped doing it. I used to do it just for the fun of it. But I ask women, would they fix their man's plate? If he was, you know, if y'all had a cookout at a family function or whatever, especially if he's visiting somewhere, your family, would you fix his plate? And you would be surprised at how many black women caught an attitude about that. What? I wish I I mean, I do it now just to see the reaction like this dude was talking about getting married to this girl. I said, let me ask you something, man. Has she ever fixed your plate? And he went all around the world. I mean, I do this. I, mean, I said, that's not what I asked you. I said, will she fix your plate? But I don't even ask. Like, she just come like, yo, you want me to fix your plate? And he said, no, they've been together like six years. I said, hey, you ever asked her about that? No. I said, why not? Ain't never thought about it. And ain't a thing that you making her or do whatever. It's a thing of, like this woman said, it's a thing of kindness that some women have. And a lot of women see that as a slave chore or something to serve your man. But a lot of women in other cultures know that that's just something they'll do for their man. Do it. To them, it's doing something nice for their man. But for, to you guys, it's like that's a slap in the face to ask me to fix your plate. You see what I'm saying, the difference? That's why a lot of guys go to somewhere else because when they get a taste of some kindness, they're like, oh, shit, I'm staying over here. Where you over here with all this, what you're not going to do is, there's some women over here saying, oh, I don't have a problem doing it. Simple as that. Simple as that. And this young lady don't understand this. She been pointing fingers. She came in here trying to make it seem like a uh, black man just chasing the other. It ain't like that. They love the sisters. The sisters just don't love us back. I'm just being honest. The men are still getting with women. Yes or no? The young men are still getting with women. Yes or no? Mm -hmm. Yes or no? Yes. Right. So they're going into the store to buy something. They're walking out with a Becky or a Marisol. And they could have had a Kenya. So it ain't like they walked into the store without money and not intending to buy. You've got to make your product better. 
but that's what I was saying in the beginning. It okay. comes down to the communication and us cooperating with each other. No, I don't no, get what no, she's no, trying no, to no, say. no. It comes to you cooperating with us. See, that's why you keep going. See, you keep talking like we're part. You, well, you don't. You don't have a choice. See, you're losing to Marisol Myling. You're losing to Becky, Marisol, and Myling. See, you keep saying cooperate with us. Why does he have to cooperate with us when he's gonna go over to uh, Marisol and she's willing to cooperate with him? She just don't. He's gonna go to the situation and he's gonna cooperate with him. Then he has to cooperate with you. If you're cooperating, isn't that a team effort? So doesn't it take two? Well, if that's the case, you shouldn't be losing. If, if what you're saying is the case, all things being equal, you should be, you should not be losing to non-black women. But when I speak with most black men, they don't even want to cooperate with us. They already have it in their mind. That, mm. oh, Where'd that come from? Where'd that come from? I'm not sure where it really. I mm, it just came. It just popped in their head. It just came from nowhere. One day they just woke up and said, "This is what it is." No, because they've grown. They've grown up. No, I'm going to tell you where it came from. This is very conversations where it came from. The inability for you guys to be honest. These guys are your brothers, your cousins, your neighbors. They went to high school with you. They went to junior high with you. They went to elementary with you. They went to pre-K with you. Their mothers are you. Black men know black women intimately well because black women run everything in the black community. So if black men in your generation are choosing to not even deal with them, it's not because it doesn't come from somewhere. And you're talking about we need to cooperate with each other. And like this little kid, this woman asked her, her son, it was on something, she asked her son why they don't date black women. And they said, um, because they don't want someone that acts like her. That's what they told her. Now, they're not the ones who date, they don't matter, and a white girl just happen to fall through. There's a lot of dudes like that, and y'all just see when a white girl, oh, you don't date black girls. They just date any girls. But this particular woman, when she asked these kids, because the kids say they just want, they don't want to date black girls. They want to date, you know, white girls. And she asked them why, and she said they told her because they don't want somebody that's going to act the way their mother act. So they seen their mother yell, scream, show out, act a fool, probably cuss out their dads, out in the store, just showing a lot of behavior shit. They seen it. Then they see the little young girls doing it. Then they see the other girls doing it. At my age, I see it in the younger girls. When I mean young, I mean like middle school girls. They sound like grown women when they get mad. The things that come out their mouth and how angry they are just to be in middle school. That's a learned behavior. I had to tell one of my nephews that when he was young one time, so that little girl has a learned behavior. She shouldn't be that angry with you being her first boyfriend. She picked that up from her mother, aunties, cousin somewhere. So y'all have this learned behavior that a lot of these black guys grow up seeing that they don't want no part of. They just don't. And they just gonna go somewhere else. And when they, like I said, when they get a taste of some peace, and somebody treating them nice, bro, it's hard to pull them away from that. It is, ma'am. If you're on the losing end of a relationship situation, if you don't get black men, what is your option? Correct. Yeah. White men, Hispanic men, Asian men, Middle Eastern men. Ain't never They're not about running over to the hood or the neighborhood to scoop up black women in large numbers. See, she never thought about it. Is it starting to face. sink in yet? I, I said in the beginning that it already sunk in with me, and I'm realizing that we just don't cooperate. I don't know. Well, when you said we don't cooperate, you said we don't cooperate with each other. Yes, we do not cooperate and, with each other. And that's the point. And, that's, and, and see, the point is not we don't cooperate with each other. You Women don't... Black women don't cooperate with black men. You must cooperate with us first. This is about order. There's plenty of black women that would not mind cooperating with a black man or communicating with a black man. 
it just takes it has to be a two-way street it can't be just receptive on okay i don't think you're under i think see again right there you ran it into a ditch i know plenty of black women who would not mind would not mind while your non-black competition is ecstatic to they're wanting to they're leaving their their racial preference of men to come over to talk to black men they're choosing to come leave their neighborhoods and come get with jamal while jamal's in your neighborhood and you're talking about i wouldn't mind so jamal has to ask himself which woman is more ecstatic exuberant and excited about cooperating with me kenya or becky and by the words out of your own mouth other women are more because you wouldn't mind cooperating with them nobody wants that means i'll do it if i have to i'll do it it's okay i won't mind that's what i was about to say hey you want to go to the movies oh i don't mind you want to go to Hawaii? I don't mind. Hey, you want to go to the movies? Oh my God, I would love to go to the movies. Hey, you want to go to Hawaii? Oh my God, thank you for buying tickets. You notice how different that is? Appreciative. Hello? Are you stating that? Is Do you notice how different those two things are? She don't want to hear it. Yes, I noticed the, the difference in tone and effort, excitement. I see it. I hear it. But what I'm, but. But what, where I'm coming from is when you say we have to be ecstatic or we have to be the ones who want to cooperate or to make it work how can you cooperate or make it work with somebody who already has it in their mind that this is not going to work out anyway so let me just get in get what i want and move on mm, sounds like you got a problem sounds like you got a lot of work to do sounds like you got a lot of if you this sound like she getting dudes, but dudes are just getting it and leaving. That's what she sounds like she's saying. Like a dude might come through, but he ain't staying around. And she's trying to figure out why they don't want to stay around, but they'll stay around these other girls. So she's trying to, she talking about herself. But she's trying to throw it around to everybody else. And maybe her little friend group, all of them, you know, shit, if it's four of y'all going in the club and not nobody looked at any one of you. You know, y'all need to start having some conversation with yourselves. But it sounds like it's a little personal versus what she's trying to play it off with. If, you have a, if, you got a, if you're trying to sell something to a market and they already have it in their mind that your product is bad, it's not going to give me what I want. It's not going to give me the outcome. Right. And either you sell your product or you go bankrupt and don't eat, what do you have to do? What do you have to do? What, what do you have to do? Don't, don't don't ask me a question. What do you have to do? Quick to try to answer you a question. Have to find out what you need to do to sell your product. Ding ding fucking ding. She did not want to say. Black that. women have to figure out why black men are not buying them. And then you have to give black men what they want. Up front. Not you can't I don't mind. You got to be willing to outcompete Becky Marisol and Myling. Because the problem that black women are having with black men is one that black women have earned. Like it or not, young lady, that's the way it is. And here are your options. If you don't want to earn it, then I'd like to see you go get it with Brad, Ahmed, Jose, or Mohammed. They ain't putting up with it. We are it's like um, this dude was talking about this kind of stuff where like these women just assume these white men would want them. Let's just put it like that. And a lot of these, and not just a regular white guy, they talking about these corporate dudes. You know, these dudes that still get in the gym, they go and work 150 hours, you know, a week. They, they head strong, they about their business. Big numbers when they bring it home. And you think you're going to come up in there and just be out of shape, lazy, complaining all the time? No, he don't get rid of you. Y'all think these other dudes are suckers or something. And when a woman's like, well, I just get me a white man. Ain't no white man putting up with no lazy woman. And that's where they come around to. Like dudes trying to get out and do th different things, these black guys. And so 
if he's going to the gym, you need to get up and go to the gym. Simple as that. If he's going for a walk, you need to get your ass up and go take a walk. If he's changing how he eat, and I see it in so many households, he's changed how he eating, but you won't change how you're eating. He's eating better for his health, and you're eating anything that you can find. Why is that? You guys, you just want to do what you want to do so bad that you don't even understand how it's separating you from the other from your man. Now, he's all in there being healthy and doing all this stuff, and he see a woman that's in the same thing. What do you think he's going to do? He's going to navigate over there. This is what I prefer. She likes what I like. We think alike. She's not lazy. She get up and go. You find out what she's doing. Oh, she got these hobbies. And that's another thing. Y'all still need to find some hobbies out here. Y'all don't have anything but going to the club. That's all y'all have. You ask them, what do y'all do? Oh, go to the club, get money. About my business. No, what's your hobbies? What do y'all do for fun out here on your own? Don't have anything. If you're not lying, ask your girls. Ask your homegirl. Ask yourself, what's your hobby? Don't have one. What do you got? That's, That's why I said you don't, you're, you're speaking like, well, well we, we got to do it with each other. other. No, we don't have to do it with each other. Either you get on our program or you buy a dog and die alone. But I don't think you like it. I don't think you guys like it. And I don't think they like it in that starker term, guys. You see how it goes down? It's like, well, still trying to make it to where, well, it's not fair. Go ahead and say it. it's not fair. It's not fair. Go ahead and say it. it's not fair. It's not right. It shouldn't have to be. How tall are you? There it is. It shouldn't be that way. Well, How tall are you? I'm 5'10. Dress size? 160, 165. Dress size? Uh, Dress size? Uh, eight, 8 or 10. Mm -hmm. I'm going to tell you now, that's a lie. I'm going to tell you right now, that woman is not 5'10 and weigh 160 pounds with all that fat in her face and in her neck. No way. No way. She might be 5'10. But she ain't no 160. See, 5'10 will make you tall for a woman. Hell, it's tall for a man now. But that'll make you tall for a woman. And if you that big, and your face that big, and you got rolls in your neck, you're not 160. That would be a nice size for you for that height. But as we can see, she is not thin. That is crazy. Why you gonna get on here and lie like that? And you were saying it shouldn't be what? I was just saying it's it's gonna. I don't understand how Look at the neck. we can make some cooperate or make something work with somebody who does not have interest in doing that. Mm. Mm. They don't have interest. You act like okay. You make them interested. Look at that neck, man. That's all you got, ma'am. I don't know how you do it. Uh, you get off your lazy ass and you try. You fail, you try better. That's how you do it. That's how you do it. Have you ever had to go after something that wasn't given to you? This is entitlement. Right. You're not entitled to a black man. We don't belong to you. Because you, because you have long, because black women have for the longest acted like you didn't belong to black men. So now you're free. It's a free market economy. So now you have to sell yourself. You got to compete. And if you don't compete, if you don't, how, and if the black man is in your neighborhood and you can't convince the black man in your neighborhood that you're the best pick, you think you're going to go to the next suburb? This is the uh, results of this thing started a while back with the strong, independent black woman, I don't need a man. This is the results now. See, that was what, about good over 10 years ago when that started up. And this is the results. All this y'all been saying, telling y'all black men, y'all don't want them. You don't need them. You're going to have these babies. I don't need you to help raise them. I'm going to kick you out the kids' lives. All this shit that y'all done, this is the results. Now they go going to other people. 
because you have shown us for so many years that you really don't want to have nothing to do with us. But then you thought about it later on that, damn, ain't nobody else checking for you guys. Like she's saying, she's getting a realization of this now. Well, I've just now thought about this. Yeah, yeah, now you just thought about it. Now. You see what I'm saying? So. Well, the next group of men and convince them that you're the best pick? You think those women are going to let you take their men? I'm telling you, man. I just don't. How do black women act like we don't belong to black men? I, <laughs> Damn. I black Did you not I answer the question? Oh, I'm sorry. If, if you, you can't, can't get the men in your neighborhood, what are you going to get? You're going to go to the other groups, other races, neighborhoods? Right. You still got to convince those men and you got to compete with those women. I want everyone to understand this is how lazy and entitled the modern young black woman's at the modern black woman's attitude has become to black men she can't even understand what i'm saying i, I understand that she's really confused because it's like well i don't she get really it is. <laughs> because you 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 think it should be easy she think they supposed to want they should want me ma'am as I every am. black man today who was marrying age married every black woman in this country there would still be two million more black women left listen and listen well marriage is not a guarantee it is blood sport it is competition every woman is not going to win and you are going to have to compete elsewhere in love and war so what do black women who want to have a husband, especially if they want a black man, what are they going to have to do? They're going to have to do what? Figure it out. Yeah. I don't really think they know how. It's been so long. Like I said, nobody is trying to train or teach each other. Like, the women that know how to do this, they can't teach or train these other women how to do it. Because, first of all, they got to be real feminine. And a lot of these women don't want to do that. They want to, like, fight. You remember they say, oh, I'll fight a man. Remember that shit was going around? Oh, I may not whoop him, but he'll know I'm there. I heard that so many times coming up. I mean, as an adult, grown 30-year-old women saying this. I'll fight a man. And I, every time, and I ain't told my boys when they was younger, if a woman ever tell you that, dump her. Dump her right then and there. Do not pick her up. Don't call her. Don't do nothing else with her. Because a woman that thinks like that is going to be nothing but problems. But see, you can't, change the, you can't change the attitude of people that's just, they don't want to change. They're used to the norm. What's normal to them, they're not trying to change to make it right. So that's why we end up this young lady like this who just can't fathom why these black guys wouldn't want them. We're black. We got braids in our hair. Some might have BBLs. It just don't look, it don't look natural, man. You ain't showing no feminine. Y'all might have all this stuff done, but you still walk like fucking dude named Doug. Half y'all walk like you play basketball all day in heels. You look goofy when you dress up because you ain't used to dressing up. All that shit is trained and taught. You can't just come out the house, get a new dress and put on some heels and go out. You look awkward. That's why you got to listen to people telling you and training you and teaching you how to do this stuff. But y'all don't want to do that. But ask some of these other women, do them women be telling them how to do this when they was young? Like this woman told her daughter, I didn't send you to school be a doctor. I sent you to school to marry one. See the mentality? She all lost. Look at her. I'm thinking, I mean, I mean, people in the comment section are saying the same. Lazy. I just don't get it. I don't, they, they really I want. That, I just don't understand how. Look at that, that neck. I can't stop looking at that neck. It's, it's hard for us to try with someone who really so to so it's hard okay it's hard for you to try so what so what so what it's hard for you to try it's hard for you to try it should be harder for you to live alone to die by yourself so what it's hard for you to try then what 
It's hard to try. Then what? It's hard for you to try. Ma'am, it's hard for you to try. You're a uh, ma'am, it's hard for you to try. Ma'am, it's hard for you to try. Do you have a college degree? No. Okay. Sorry, ma'am. Life is hard. Anything worth having in this life is worth working for. You sound lazy. It's hard. So what? Having, if a man had to work for a worthwhile woman, you women would say a woman like her is worth working for. True or false? Thank you. I, what I never said men, black men weren't working for. I'm saying With, black men aren't. Go back and look at the comment section, man. You don't get it. I get it. You don't get it. And this is how far they've fallen, guys. She really doesn't get it. She really doesn't. And I don't blame you for not getting it. what you're saying. But what I'm saying to you is how can we try and put forth this effort to somebody who's not even receptive? You, first of all, that's a disingenuous ass question. Right. You assume that 100% of black men are not there. I'll give it to you this way. You know how you do it? Because I'm a salesperson. Your job as a salesperson starts when somebody says no. If everybody bought that you asked, there would be no need for you. That means you have to deal with rejection. That means you're saying that how do we do, how do, we do this to a group of men who don't want it? You go ask them what they want. You knock on the door and say, how can I make you? How can I get you to be my boyfriend? How can I get how, how, what do you need for me to become your wife? You got to actually go to the consumer. I know it's I know it's crazy. You got to go to the person who you want to purchase your product and give them what they want. I know it's wild. You don't go to the market and say, "Hey, tell me how to sell you." "Hey, I got this I got this widget to sell. Tell me how you go out and do all the research and tell me how to make millions of dollars off you. Lazy.